as we often talked about, the moral downfall on the internet is slowly spreading more and more into real life. Now, there was another repulsive violent outbreak. It was here in Germany. On Sunday afternoon, dozens of masked people with Bengalos passed Herbert Reul's house. That's North Rhine-Westphalia's interior minister, uh, but he was probably not in danger. A spontaneous meeting of rioters broke out on Sunday afternoon near the private home of North Rhine-Westphalia's interior minister Herbert Reul from the Christian Democratic Union in Leichlingen. According to the police, it was a group of 20 to 50 partially masked people who roamed the streets of the small town in the rhenish burgish district, setting fire to Bengalos and chanting slogans. The wording of the calls is still unclear, said a police spokeswoman. The meeting quickly dissolved. The police moved out with numerous forces in the afternoon and tried to get an overview of the situation. A police helicopter also circled over the area until late in the evening. Witnesses were heard and statements evaluated. A witness reported in the evening that in the city, which lies between Solingen and Leverkusen, some police vehicles were still to be seen. The area around Royal's private house was not cordoned off. There was no visible damage to the building, but there were reports of slight damage because stuff was thrown at it. According to unconfirmed report, reports, Royal was not home that afternoon, so there was no danger to him. The state security has now taken over the investigation. It's always when a politician is attacked. A police spokesman said Monday morning that it was about violations of the Assembly Act and the Explosives Act. The background to the spon spontaneous meeting on Sunday in Leichlingen was still unclear. The action may have been in connection with the new Assembly law, the police said. But personally, our constitutional state cannot and must not accept something like this. I'm glad that nothing happened to Minister of the Interior Royal. I can only hope that he will not be impressed by such mobs and will continue his really good work against crime and other excesses. As I know him, I don't have any major concerns about this. But there's something we really can't allow to happen. Not too long ago, another politician here in North Rhine Westphalia was killed by um, some right-wing guy and um, the attacks on politicians have increased in recent years and that's why I'm always talking about the influence of social media on real life because people get less and less well they lose all, all, all limits there and get excessive like hell on the internet I see it in, on, on some of my channels in the, in the comments you can see how excessive they get well, you usually don't see them because YouTube is blocking them and they are on my blocked comment uh, part where I can have a look on analytics. But it is getting more and more excessive and it's getting the same with a lot of politicians. Um, and more and more it's spreading into real life. As I said, uh, a politician was, sh was shot not too long ago um, and um, the, a worker on a, on a petrol station was shot a few weeks ago by some anti-vaxxer be just because he told him to, to wear a mask when he enters the shop of the petrol station. And those things are for some reason exacerbated by the behavior people think it's, it's okay to have on the internet. And now attacks on the private homes of ministers. We really have to be vigilant. We really have to keep our eyes open. We cannot have our societies go any further in this direction. I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.